Hey guys, today we're going to talk about perhaps the best speculation I've ever seen. There are rumors of this happening at a speculator purchased 2,000 Death Shadows and purchased them all out. Now, is there any proof for this? No, but at the same time, I do know that at people wanted this card when it was 50 cents and there was a lot of discussion about it at 50 cents. So about four years ago, the card went to 50 cents and it stayed there for a long, long time. Today, the card is $22.95 for a total increase of 4781.25%. 4, even if you were to buy list this card out, you would have made a lot of money. More money than any stock market, more money than uh, bonds, obviously, housing market, whatever, gold, silver. This speculation is the holy grail of all speculations. It's the bulk card that made it, that truly, truly made it as a card. It is played heavily in modern. It has its own deck named after itself, which is a tier one deck in modern, revolving around the card. It's pretty OP in that deck. I like it a ton, but obviously not at $22.95. This card is what, what makes uh, MTG Finance fun, because it can happen. There could be a card today at 48 cents, 50 cents, under a dollar, that in four years, is $22.95. That's the fun part about MTG Finance. Uh, the crazy part is, do we know what that card is? I don't know what that card is. I have, um, when I picked up Filiars, Filiar did extremely nicely, as did Malera. Malera was under a dollar for most of the Maleras I picked up. But you cannot expect it because it has to survive reprints, it has to survive so many various other factors that affect its price. Death Shadow, the holy grail of MTG Finance, the one bulk card that made it in four years. We're not talking about something quadrupling in price. We're talking about something that went up in price almost 4,800%. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. It's a 50 times return almost. And yeah, so the holy grail of MTG Finance. Uh, maybe we can find an, another card like it. Leave me a comment below. Let me know uh, what cards you guys are looking at. Um, I'm ready to pick another card, another princess card, and just go all in. Falia Malera did extremely well. Olivia Voderin did very well, not as good as Filea or Malera because he had a much higher buy-in. But stuff like this can still happen. It's just a lot, lot harder than, it, than uh, it used to be. It's a lot harder now than it used to be. Anyway, leave me a comment below with your favorite spec. <laughs> Bye, guys.